In this video, we're going to learn about crating and how we use it to build blocks in isometric. By the end of this video, you will have built these two blocks um, that resemble Duplo blocks from Lego in isometric. But the first part of the video is to learn to understand what crating is. Crating is a technique that designers use to form up drawings. When we have a complex form, even though it's quite simple, we need to build a box around the whole form. It's like a box that encases the form. This is known as a crate. So let's get started on our isometric drawing using crating. We always begin an isometric drawing by drawing a V, uh, V two ways with 30, 60 degree set squares. The next thing is to measure along the left and right lines. I'm making my box 80 millimeters by 80 millimeters. You can too. After measuring, we use our set squares to create the base of the box. It's important that we create the base of the box, even if it's not going to be seen, uh, as this helps us find the back and other important points. Following creating the back, let's draw some vertical lines, which are going to be the verticals of the box. Use your set square and make it sure it's resting on that baseline so that you ensure that the lines are vertical. Once you have your vertical lines, measure up 80 millimeters from each bottom corner. There are four different bottom corners. Then connect the lines or connect those points to form the top of the box. Now we have the full crate. It's time to start dividing it up so that we can find those Dupo blocks in here. I'm dividing my crate in half vertically first. Bring your ruler and come from the back points 40 millimeters on each point and mark a line. Join these points to show that you have divided the crate in half vertically. Next we're going to divide the crate in half horizontally with a band right round the middle. Mar make a mark at 40 millimeters up from each bottom corner. That's to be measured 40 millimeters in four places. Connect those lines up. It's probably starting to get a little more complicated now, but there's one more step to go. Next, we divide the crate in half the last way. So I'm dividing it in half vertically again, but on the other face. So from each of the corners on the left face, I'm coming across to the right 40 millimeters. Make a mark at 40. And then connect those points. It looks like a hexagonal matrix at the moment because it's uh, a symmetrical cube, uh, 80 millimeters. So all of those lines line up. And we finish with this set of lines. But on there are all the lines we need to calculate exactly where these Dupo blocks are. First stage is to calculate where the bottom block is. I hope that you can find those points in your drawing easily. Then lastly, let's calculate exactly where the top block is within that crate. 
So I hope you've been able to see that crating enables us to form up blocks uh, in good positions relative to each other and to show that they are correctly measured.